Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, many requested me about 20th notebook. So, I think this is a perfect time, right? So, FMG exam will be in July. So, all the best everyone. You will be doing it. You will be doing it because hard work will definitely will pay off. Okay. So, uh, basically many asked me about my 20th notebook to share. But 20th notebook is something that you guys should make it yourself according to how you will be understanding, right? Because it's something that you can understand. Like, you should understand which will be which you can use very well for your revision time the last 10 days basically of all the 19 subjects right through uh, so it's something that will be so crisp for you to read during the last 10 days right so basically this video i am just introducing 28 notebook of my pathology subject so pathology i made 28 notebook according to the pretty ma'am's marathon videos and the, his her, her lr series and read page fmg's last year questions uh, from 2018 onwards like that i made some pathology um repetition i mean my 20th notebook of pathology basically first i will just tell the topics okay because it's not i'm not teaching or anything i'm just telling all the topics so you can just uh, see like whether these topics are there in your mind and you it's there in your 20th notebook okay these are some important topics very important topics so pathology uh, pigments i wrote first melanin pigment hemocytrin lipofuscin and see a uh, copper and glycogen and lipid and stains of that because melanin stain will be manzone spontana and hmb 45 s 100 and will be smaller stain and hemocytrin pearl stain fresh in blue that will be there and lipofuscin it's a brown colored pigment right and senile atrophy okay right so copper wilson's disease and wilson's disease you need to remember the gene atb 7 b gene chromosome 30 don't say it's a gene atb 7 a b it was very difficult for me to Keep it in your mind. Then I made a mnemonic. ATP 7A gene will be for Menke. Menke E. So it will be A in E. It is A, a ka sound, right? A ka sound. So it will be Menke will be ATP 7A gene. And glycogen, you need to remember in the glycogen, like it's a PS, all right? PSD, pink colored it will be. And then you need to remember in diabetes mellitus, glycogen in the PCT will be more. And in kidney, it will be Armani Epstein. Armani Epstein, remember that. And lipid oil, red O, and Sudan blue, and Sudan orange. And in lipid, you need to remember, but lipid deposition in heart, it will be triggered appearance and glow bladder, it will be strawberry cholesterolosis. Strawberry, strawberry glow bladder, remember that. And calcium. Old kaka sound, calcium, ka, calcium, kaka sound. It will be one cosa, one cosa, and calcerin and alizarin, alizarin. In that minute calcium detecting, it will be by alizarin. Pretty ma'am, Simonic, remember, zarasa calcium, zarasa calcium, small amount of calcium. So alizarin will be the um, minute calcium de uh, detection, right? Inflammation, I wrote the um, sequences actually margination, rolling, attrition, transmigration, hemotaxis, and opsonization and phagocytosis. Then I wrote the main main things rolling, selectins. There are selectins, right? EPL, English Premium League, right? And E4, uh, English for uh, endothelial and platelets, P4 platelets, and Premium League, and L4 leukocytosis. Uh, then addition, it will be uh, integrins. My mnemonic was ADIN, ADIN, A D addition, ADIN in I N integrin. So rolling, it will be selectins and artin. Addition will be integrins, and then for uh, then for transmigration and for chemotaxis, you need to remember chemotaxis. You remember C five A, C five A, and for opsonization, you need to remember IgG and C three B, IgG and C three B. This is your opsins, opsonins. You can remember BGM, BGM mnemonic, C three B. IgG and M mannose binding lecithin is also there, so that is why BGM. So remember C3B and uh, your IgG for sure. BGM, C3B, B4, C3B, and uh, uh, G4, IgG, and M4 mannose binding lecithin. Okay, and then um, then you need to remember your cytokines like some cytokines PGE2 for pain and for fever IL1 and DNF alpha. You need to remember, and then yeah. For T-cell maturation, it will be IL-7 and neutrophil requirement, it will be IL-8 and eosinophil, it will be IL-5. Eosinophil I activation IL-5, T-cell maturation IL-7 and neutrophil requirement IL-8. You need to remember this. And cyclogen oxygen pathway, arachnoid acid plus C, COX-1 and COX-2, PGG-2, then PGH-2. From PGH-2, you need to remember something. Like You need to remember PGI-2 and DXA-2. Like thromboxin A2 and PGI-2 are opposite. Why? How? PGI-2, it's a prostocycline and it will be inhibiting the platelet aggregation. Inhibiting platelet aggregation and vasodilation. And DXA-2, thromboxin A2 will be opposite of PGI-2. Okay. 
and then you need to remember d for d pg d2 towards vasodilation and pg e2 i already told it's pain then you need to remember pg f2 alpha it will be carboprosu in your gynecology okay then complement system there are three what all are there called classical and manos binding let's say and third one is alternate pathway you need to remember the rate limiting step, step of uh, complement system is what rate limiting step will be c3 c3 okay and then you need to remember yeah in your alternate pathway it will be starting from the c3 and classical it will be your um, c1 um, activation first and then you need to remember c1 deficiency will be hereditary Uh, angioedema angioedema sorry hereditary angioedema okay and then c2 and c4 deficiency will cause sle and then you are uh, you need to remember mac mac c5b29 in the alternate c5b29 that deficiency will be capsulated organism any seria meningitis okay hmm. then pan pan t will be pan t marker will be cd3 and pan b cell marker will be cd19 pan b cell marker cd19 then you need to remember Uh, Epstein Barr virus entry will be CD twelve. Then, uh, you in immunology you will remember right uh, MD to become GAM D, MD to become GAM D, like uh, IgM and M IgD to make it GAM D to family. Like I used to remember like MD, it's mother and father, IgM and IgD, mother and father to make children like GAM D. That is uh, um, IgG and uh, uh, the uh, IgA and e, IgE, and to make a whole family, a gam B, they need uh, CD40 receptor B cell and IL4 is needed. CD40 and IL4 is needed for MD to become the whole family gam D. Okay, so then remember that. Okay, then hypersensitivity reactions like type one, there is immediate hypersensitivity reaction. You need to remember the mnemonic A B C D I A for allergens, B for bronchial asthma, C for Cassoni test that is not done now for a kind of focus and D for drugs. Okay, and for type two that is antibody mediated cytolytic that you need to remember my blood group is Rh positive. M for uh, myasthenia gravis my blood group B for blood group blood cup blood transfusion of course and G for good good pastures and that is Graves. Okay, and R for uh, I um, Rh incompatibility right and Also, there will come the immune thrombocytopenic, uh, cytopenic purpura, and also immune uh, hemolytic anemia will come, and for positive it will be pemphigus, right? Okay, and then type three will be uh, your immune mediated. That will be sharp pneumonic. Sharp will be pneumonic. S for SLE serum sickness and your shake test, and H for shino uh, shielding purpura, shielding purpura, and A for arthritis reaction and R for reactive arthritis. Reactive arthritis ka um, triad you remember, right? Conjunctivitis, urethritis, and arthritis. Yeah, and then PSG and and your pan. Okay, then you need to remember type four that you will be your granulomas, IBD and Crohn's, and then contact dermatitis. And you need to remember one thing that like type two and three rheumatoid arthritis will be having type two and type three, and you need to remember SLE will be having type two and type three. So these two autoimmune things, rheumatic arthritis and SLE, type two and type three, both hypersensitivities are there. And how? And then you need to remember in transplant there is hyperacute, acute, and chronic. You need to remember put hyperacute two and chronic may four, and in the in between acute will be having two and four. So two into two four, right? So uh, hyperacute chronic will be the double effect. So you will remember that there is a hyperacute two and chronic four, and in between acute will be having two and four. Okay. Then remember that like hyperacute will be minimum less than forty eight hours, and for acute it will be days to months, like. Yeah, days to months, and will be more than six months. More than six months, it will be chronic. Okay, remember that. And then your sensitivity, uh, sensitive and specific for SLE, sensitive will be ANA and nuclear antibodies, and specific will be ASA. And sh sh for also Sjogren syndrome, your dry mouth and all. For sensitivity, it will be anti ro ro, and specific it will be anti la ro la ro la ro la ro la. So sensitivity all comes first. So anti ro and specific will be anti la. And then scleroderma limited will be for limited it will be anti centromere and for diffuse it will be anti drop top isomerase. You do, you guys need can mess it up. So just remember after C only in English T will come. So for limited it will be anti centromere and for diffuse it will be anti drop top isomerase. I don't know how big this this video will be, but I will cover everything what I wrote in the pathology. Okay. Then for immunodeficiency, immunodeficiency you need to remember the most common will be the severe combined, right? It will be S linked recessive. Okay, 
as linked to recessive and in severe combined what only you need to remember in child it will be morbid form rash and you need to remember ADA deficiency please remember just these things okay at least for God's sake remember these things and for brutens hypoglobal global anemia all B, 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 B will become brutens B, 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 right for boys it will be common B for B for B cells it will, it will be B cells attacking and gene also same B, B, D, K so brutens will be B, B, B boys B cell and B, D, K gene that you need to remember and for D, George it will be you are thymus, thymus hypoplasia. So you need to remember for DJ the demonic will be catch. So what is this catch? Cleft palate will be there. And then you need to remember facious abnormal. That is yours A. And T for thymus hypoplasia. T cell defect. Go to two T's. And also for heart also it will be mainly causing tetralogy palate. Okay. And then for C there is one more C. Calcium will be less. Yeah, that's it. And for hyper IgM it will be pneumocystis jugorisi jugo anemonia. And um, hyper IgE, you need to remember Job, Job syndrome it is and STAT3 gene defect, STAT3 gene defect. And Viscode Altered syndrome, it will be VASP gene, W for W, VASP gene. And you need to remember for the Viscode Altered defect, you need to remember um, IgA and IgE will be more and IgM will be less. We, I used to remember like, just to remember for sake of IgA, if a person drinks more alcohol, his mental... Uh, uh, stability will be less so A for alcohol if IgA is more and then IgM will be less if a person drink more alcohol alcohol A for alcohol so IgA will be more if IgA will be more then IgM will be less understood now more alcohol mental will be less so alcohol IgA and mental IgM will be less so that you need to remember IgE also will be more okay and then hemochromatosis hemochromatosis means what iron overload HFE gene, iron overload, HFE gene, chromosome 6. You need to remember HFE gene and chromosome 6. Then you need to remember like um, triad, you need to remember like um, liver will be affected. Of course, liver will be affected. Then you need to remember diabetes mellitus also uh, will be there and skin uh, pigmentation, these things. And then you need to remember for hemochromatosis that uh, iron stain that is Persian blue and pearls blue. Okay, Persian blue and pearls. HFE gene and chromosome 6 and autosomal recessive from hemochromatosis you need to remember this then some more bodies PSM square PSM square like P for papillary carcinoma P for prolactinoma then S for somatostatinoma S for serous ovarian tumor in your gynae and M for meningioma and mesothelioma and serous ovarian tumor remember that CA 125 right and then for aging you need to remember telomere shortening that is actually prevented by telomer telomerase that telomerase is called your immortality gene remember right and to live lifelong you need to remember uh, more sirtuins are recorded so sirtuins uh, what will give sirtuins your red wine and you are uh, taking less calories like less calories and rest okay and um, sirtuins you need to remember immortality gene is telomerase and aspetosis shipyard, aspetosis shipyard, aspetosis, aspetosis, bastosis, bastosis, so base it is. So base of the lung, lower lung is affected and most common will be adenocarcinoma and more specific uh, with pleural problems it will be mesothelioma. Pleural problems it will be there in the question it will be mesothelioma. Otherwise aspetosis most common it will be adenocarcinoma and then silicosis is your glass industry and silicosis actual calcification and AFP some genes I wrote actually a uh, hepatic angiocarcinoma is caused by your bad chemical bad chemicals okay your plastic and pesticides thorium that is bad chemicals and um, AFP AFP uh, your york sac tumor and HS, HCC and hepatoblastoma CEA for C4 CEO colon carcinoma and beta HCG will be choriocarcinoma, HCG choriocarcinoma, CA125 we told it's your ovarian tumor and CA199, 9 is kind of a P, na? put it reverse, it will be pancreatic carcinoma and CA153, it will be 3 like a breast, na? it will be breast cancer, okay. So, AFP, you need to remember yolk sac tumor and HCG hepatoblastoma, then CEA colon cancer, then CA19, CA19 it will be pancreatic uh, cancer then CA15 it will be your breast cancer okay just remember that things 
and then uh, macrophages just remember for placenta macrophages hope of your but the rest you guys know right of your so there was a pyq and uh, zika virus remember that okay when you remember hope your then giant cell uh, giant cells there i wrote some giant cells and you need to see the peaks of the giant cells okay uh, langerhans cells tb a host shoe shaped it will be host shoe shaped and for um, foreign body it will be half sad shaped if i can i will post the pics here and for vartins um, vartins you remember right measles and then to, um, then santoma breath like uh, toe turned sand uh, giant cell to santoma breath like then you need to remember your owl eyes owl eyes everyone likes owl eyes right owl eyes you need to remember in cmb it will be blue eyes and pink eyes if you are seeing that will be your um, red stain bugs okay pink eyes then granuloma without necrotic center if it is written that will be sarcoidosis and then you need to remember um, some more some more granulomas you need to remember stellate granuloma for cat scratch stellate granuloma star shaped and then donut granuloma for q fever q fever coxilla burnetti and for merikatsia then uh, dark granuloma it will be for your plasmodium falciparum cerebral malaria okay that you guys need to remember okay tick tick pictures see the images then cycling cycling cv uh, cycling you need to remember doni ek acha batsman that so cycling d e a e doni ek acha batsman first doni made four uh, doni scored four and six runs so d for four six then e for uh, the e and a will be ek acha will be two two and batsman will be one so doni ek acha batsman remember right with that b and amyloidosis you need to remember vaxi you need to remember apple green differentials and you need to remember polarizing microscope congo red you need to remember theoflavin all these words you need to remember theoflavin um uv and electron microscopy 7.5 to 10 nm diameter then you need to remember x ray crystallography it will be beta pleated sheets then you need to remember light microscopy it will be salmon pink all these words about amyloidosis is very important and then you need to remember triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride brick red color of heart myocardium remember. i will be uploading the part 2 of uh, pathology 20th notebook it will be having your systemic pathology and hematology so hope you like this part it was just uh, rapidly i was seeing the important topics uh, with my 20th notebook uh, photos also so i hope you benefited you uh, let's see in part 2 thank you